Hey, art friends, we got another cool drawing today, don't we, Chuckers? Yeah. What are we going to draw today? Mr. Krabs. Yeah, Mr. Krabs. Woohoo! All right, dude, you got your marker? Yeah. We're going to keep this one nice and simple, all right? Yeah. Okay, we're going to start with our paper horizontal. horizontal. Got your marker ready? Yeah. All right. Okay. Now we're, gonna, we're in the middle of the paper. He's got really tall eyes, huh? Yeah. We're going to draw two lines that curve back like this. Okay. Can you do that? Straighten your paper there. Okay. So. Mm. Good. And then you want these two to be kind of close together, not too close. Yeah. Okay, now we're going to we're going to start at the top of the eye and we're going to curve it around and then back down so that it comes kind of to a point down here. Yeah. Good job, dude. Okay, and we're going to do the same thing with the other eye, okay? Start at the top, come around town, <laughs> and then back down. <laughs> Did I say that too much. <laughs> I like Mr. Krabs. He's he's one of my favorites. He loves money. Yeah, he does. Money, money, money. All right. Okay, then we're going to curve the bottom. So we're going to put a little contour line down at the bottom. He fills his pants with money. Yeah, he does. He takes baths in it, doesn't he? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay, you got little curves at the bottom. Okay, yeah. now in the middle of his eye, off to the side, we're going to put a little oval, and then we're going to color it in. All right, and do the same thing on the other side. And you want to make sure that those ovals are pretty much the same same, same size. Kind of. Yeah, mine's, I think one side's a little bigger than him. All right, now we're going to do little his little eyebrows. He's got the weirdest eyebrows, huh? So you do a little, little loop at the top. Good. And then a loop on the side. And then a loop on the other side. And do the same thing over here on this one. Loop in the middle, loop on the side, loop on the other side. Okay. Got it? Yeah. Good job, man. Okay, now we're gonna draw the top of his head in between his eyes. So it's kind of a point like that. Good, okay, and then we're just gonna draw a little teeny line that comes out. And you wanna pretend like or imagine that the top of his head goes through the back of his eye. So it looks like it's continuing. Hey, and he's got a funny nose, huh? Yeah. We just draw a little wiggly line that goes out. And then start at that point where you ended and then wiggly line back. Good. That's awesome. Oh, I did it a little. That's okay. We practice. Good job, bud. Okay. Now, let's finish his head. His head's going to come down. And we can bring that maybe a little further down. Good. Good. You might want to come a little further. Good job. Okay, and then on the other side, we're going to do a little wavy line on the other side. Good job. Okay, now, now we're going to do a curved line that starts on this side and comes around to the other side. That's going to be his head. What color is Mr. Krabs? Red. Yep. <laughs> okay, now let's draw a smile. And then a little cheek line. Does it look like him? Yeah. Yeah, it's starting to, huh? All right. What were you going to say? One of the shows, his head, head actually is like that. Yeah. <laughs> okay, and now we're going to draw the rest of his body. And this is going to be a shape that comes around. I won't say it. And then we're going to draw the other side. Oh, I'll let you do that first. And I'm going to stop right here. And then on this side, we're going to do the same thing. Comes around. And then almost touches, but doesn't quite. So it has kind of a raindrop shape, huh? All right, two lines. 
That's for his pant leg. And then draw a contour line to connect them. And then we'll do the same thing over here, okay? Two lines. Right there. And you want those to be kind of the same distance as the other one. And then a contour line for the bottom of his pants. Good job. Okay, now let's draw a little legs coming out of the bottom. Almost running out of room. There's one leg and two legs. <laughs> it's starting to look like him, huh? Yeah. All right, let's draw let's draw his collar. So he has a little white shirt. So we draw a little V right here, and that's white. Good. And then he has um, the collars for his shirt that come on the other side. Good job. Okay, now halfway down, we're going to draw his waist and, or his pants. Good. And then he has darker kind of purple pants, huh? Yeah. And then he has a something around his waist. What's around his waist? A belt. A belt. So draw a little square or a rectangle. My marker's really squeaky. I haven't changed it yet. And then we're going to draw another rectangle inside that one. You just give me the newer ones. I know. <laughs> because, you, and then yep. I give you the... I'll give you this one, and I get the new one. And then we'll give you the new one. Okay, now we're going to draw another line that goes around his waist, but then stops. And it's going to continue on this side, too, but that goes all the way. This is going to be his belt. Okay, and then we'll come down and do the same. We'll mirror that same line right there. And then the same line over here. And then we can draw a line at the end. So this is his belt loop. Draw another line next to it. And then pretend like that belt's going under his belt loop and then around the rest of his waist. And then the bottom one too. Cool. All right, let's speed it up, but we're gonna color in his belt, okay? Yeah. All right, you ready? Set, Set go. Go. Good, good job, man. You did it. Okay, now he has a zipper on the front of his pants, huh? That comes down from his belt, comes around, it's kind of a square U mm -hmm. for a zipper. Yep, and then and then a, one line that comes straight down there. That's for his pants zipper. We're done with his body, dude. What are we missing? His arm, his, his arms and hands. Yeah, his arms and hands. So we're gonna do two lines that come out from the side of uh, each side of his body. And you want those to be about the same length on both sides. And they look symmetrical, huh? Okay, and we're gonna do a contour line this way and a contour line that way for the end of his sleeves. And we're simplifying this a little bit, huh? Yeah. We're gonna make both sides pretty, pretty equal just to make it easier. All right, okay, now let's do the same thing for his arms. So we're going to do an L, an upside down L, and then one right next to it. You can do that. And then the same thing over on this side. We're going to do an upside down L, and one right next to it. Good. Keep going. One more. Yes, you did it. All right. Okay, what, what kind of hands does he have? Um, what does he have for hands? Claws. Big, giant, giant claws, huh? So we're going to draw a big C. Can you do that? Big C. All right. Okay, and then we're going to do a smaller C on this side. Backwards. I'm a backwards C. Good job. We could do the same thing over on this side. Do a kind of medium sized C. And then a giant big backward C over here. Good. Okay, now let's try the inside of his class. So we're gonna put a little a little kind of round 
on each side a little hook huh and then a zigzag line good and then a zigzag line back awesome okay let's do the same thing over here little hook on both sides and then a zigzag line And then a zigzag line back. <laughs> my my Mr. Krabs looks a little young. <laughs> he almost looks like Mr. Krabs when he was a kid. <laughs> did you have fun drawing yours, man? Yeah. Look at that. You did a really good job. Found it. <laughs> we hope you guys had fun drawing Mr. Krabs with us. And me and Chuckers, huh? Yeah. We enjoy doing this, don't we? Yeah. We enjoy all of our art friends and we love getting your photos of your art. Be sure to send us a picture of your Mr. Krabs. Where should they email it? My art at artforkidshub.com. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you later, art friends. See Goodbye. See you, art friends. Bye bye. Woo! Bye bye. Money, money, money. Money, money, money.